Vi Finance have recently launched their testnet version of their decks. They've finally gotten to the point after a long year and a half or maybe a little bit longer in terms of development on the Cardano blockchain. They've gotten to the point where they have uh, released everything on testnet around their DEX ecosystem and I'm pretty excited to review this one. So let's get into it. Yeah, yeah, gotta do it like that. You've been listening to the Learn Cardano podcast. Gotta get it hype. Crypto is what we like. But this is not investment or financial advice. Gotta do your research because it's risky. We know it is. This show is educational and it's informative. Crypto's the future. Really, it ain't no Hey everyone, thank you for joining me on another episode and one of these really cool testnet videos where we look at the new products that are, some teams are launching, in this case, Vi Finance launching their DEX components of their platform. So let's get straight into this one. You can find everything uh, on the show notes for this one at learnkadanja.io, all the links and references there that you need to get to the testnet and get started. So I'll let me just switch over to the DEX itself. The, this is uh, pretty much, uh, pretty standard for most of the Dex is uh, on the homepage. You can see all of the various trading pairs that you'll be expecting uh, expect to actually go through. Now, um, in a recent conversation with Stephen from Vi Finance, he said, "I think." They're opening up so many different trading pairs and liquidity pools on their decks and funding them as well. So there's going to be a lot of uh, variations and options for what you can trade against. And here is just a glimpse, the ADA VIFI, the ADA VI X VIFI, which is part of the ecosystem, and then the VIFI and X VIFI tokens as well. I'll talk a little bit about that in a moment. But if you're interested in playing around the testnet, there is a full guide here in regards to the testnet information, everything that you need to do a step-by-step -step guide of uh, adding liquidity looking at your liquidity and all the links to the testnet itself and how it all works farming isn't launched yet on testnet that will come later when the uh, main closer to mainnet launch and you'll be able to play around with farming and see how all those mechanisms work but let's go ahead and play around with the DEX itself and do a swap. So I'm going to do a, a basic swap here for ADA via Finance. I've already set up my wallet to be on the pre-prod network and also have funded the wallet from the testnet faucet here. I've added in my address and I've gotten a whole bunch of testnet tokens. You Anyway, I do have some tokens already set up. So I'm going to click on trade here. And this is a first look at their uh, swap screen. So they've simplified this. This looks very familiar if you've used any decentralized exchange before or even an exchange such as Binance. You can type in the um, token that you want to trade from for the token that you want to trade to. In this case, I'm going to choose X VIFI. Um, so that's a thousand ADA swapped over for X VIFI. And I'm going to confirm that transaction. There we go. So that's my uh, NAMI wallet there. Let me just sign that transaction and off it goes. So that will take a little while as it submits to the blockchain and then gets processed by the DEX itself. Uh, there's a little notification here in the top right hand corner so you know uh, when your transaction is being processed and when it hits the uh, blockchain itself. So it usually takes about 20 seconds for it to, to go on chain. Now there are some nice little UX additions here. One of them is this uh, add liquidity. So as soon as you have the various trading pairs, you can add your liquidity directly from the same screen. So you can go from trade to add liquidity, click on max and confirm your uh, added liquidity to the DEX itself at that point. Furthermore, you can actually look at your liquidity down here. It gives you a whole list of all the liquidity that's actually in um, your wallet on the DEX itself at the moment. And you can remove add more liquidity really easily from that one centralized screen. So if I click on here, add liquidity, it will um, uh, give me the option to add that liquidity straight away. So it's really nice, really uh, slick addition to the UX on the DEX itself. So I really like that. Now you do have some uh, regular functions here in terms of settings, and this is the slippage. So this is uh, how much uh, price movement um, in terms of the swap uh, that you can tolerate. Usually you want this uh, fairly low, like at 0 0.5% is the usual slippage tolerance. So you can probably just leave out that. Now, one of the really cool things that they're launching is the VIFI bar. And this is a way that you can stake your VI Finance tokens to the bar, have a part ownership of the bar, and the bar itself collects fees across the entire DEX. So any of these uh, various liquidity pools here, uh, based on the fees here, each one of these pools, uh, I believe, has a fee of 0 0.0, no, 0 0.3%, uh, 0 0.1%, 
the portion of that gets routed to the bar itself and, and all the uh, owners of the bar gets part of that portion of the uh, rewards uh, from the decks. So if you have a look at this article here, it goes through it in more detail. Yeah, there we go. So this is the fees here. So 0.3 fee, 0.2 is given back to liquidity providers. So that's the people that have provided liquidity for that particular trading pair. And that last 0.1 is served to the bar. So that's given to the people that are staking their VIFI tokens at the bar. Now it does get a little bit more technical in regards to how the uh, ELP or the uh, embedded liquidity pools work and it only really matters if you're actually creating a liquidity pool on the DEX itself. So if you are, read into that, but for the regular user, all you're interested in is staking your uh, VIFI tokens to the bar so you can actually earn some of those extra fees. So a user stakes their VIFI at the bar in exchange for X VIFI. Uh, X VIFI tracks your portion of ownership of all the VIFI held at the bar. Every time you withdraw VIFI from the bar, the X VIFI sent from the transaction is burnt and you receive the deposit plus the VIFI earned. So it's a very simple mechanism and I'm just going to demonstrate that on the DEX itself. So let me just demonstrate how this particular part of it works. So I've got my uh, Wi-Fi balance here at just a thousand. So I'm going to put in the max amount. And this is the equivalent X VIFI tokens that I get back. And that's a representation of how much of the bar I own. So I'm just going to confirm that there. Sign that transaction and away it goes. So I can see here at the moment, I've got 312. Uh, X VIFI tokens at the moment. So that should increase and increase my bar ownership overall. Now, while that's loading, there is this article here that talks about X VIFI and how this entire mechanism works, how the price of it is determined. So you can see the price here is determined by the amount of VIFI in the bar divided by the amount of X VIFI minted in the entire ecosystem. Uh, so that gives the X VIFI price. Now, the really interesting thing and the interesting mechanism that they uh, have put into place is the arbitrage opportunities that you can make from actually trading X VIFI on the DEX itself. And there's a little description here about that. So what they've done is they've created a liquidity pool on the DEX and the liquidity pool is the, let me just go back to it here. This is the ADA and the X VIFI. So this is the general trading price of this particular, uh, sorry, I should uh, correct that. It's X VIFI. Uh, and a VIFI token. So that will create a price based on trading uh, of it itself. But then you can go back here to the bar. So based on the whatever the price is here, it may be worth more here and you may be able to exit on the bar and gain a little bit of a profit. There is a uh, overview of some simplified mathematics around here, but creating that uh, arbitrage opportunity on the DEX itself is a, a really cool mechanism. So it's uh, probably a little bit harder when um, you're trading small volumes but if you're trading large volumes and you're moving the price uh, there are some opportunities there to uh, work with the decks and uh, make some uh, profit I guess off of all that as well so it's a l interesting mechanism that they've put into the decks itself and uh, I'd love to see this out in the wild and how it actually works now you can see my balance here of uh, the X VIFI tokens have gone up so I've got a thousand 200 now so it was more than what I thought I can't remember what uh, what values I put in there but my bar ownership has definitely gone up so I might just keep on working at this and see how I can get how high I can get this up since the uh, the testnet force it just gives me more free ADA uh, I'll be able to work through this uh, swap it for VIFI tokens and add it to the bar and see how much uh, profit I can make just by staking it at the bar. Um, at the moment, the APY is 3.45%. So it's uh, pretty much very similar to staking ADA um, generally at uh, a stake pool. Uh, so we'll see on live uh, mainnet um, how this plays out and what kind of values come out of that. Uh, but it's an interesting mechanism and I really like what the team have, have uh, done so far. Now in playing around with the decks itself, I haven't found any bugs. Um, usually when test nets are launched, I can find something or some little UX quirk that I think uh, needs a bit of improving. And if you watch any of my other videos, I do comment as I go along, but I haven't found anything um, in regards to uh, bugs or, or uh, faults 
um, from from playing around with the decks itself and uh, the platform. So uh, congratulations to Vifi for getting to this point. Congratulations on launching on Testnet as well. I know it's been quite a journey for you guys to get to this point, and uh, I'm looking forward to mainnet launch and seeing how the whole ecosystem grows over the next year. So if you really enjoyed this content, please consider giving me a thumbs up, click subscribe, click on the notification bell. Like I said, all the links, references, everything that I mentioned in this video, you can find on our website, learnkadano.io. Just look for the podcast episode around the Vi Finance testnet launch. All right, that's it. I'll see you in the next video. Yeah, yeah, gotta do it like that. You've been listening to the Learn Cardano podcast. Gotta get it hype. Crypto is what we like. But this is not investment or financial advice. Gotta do your research, cause it's risky. We know it is. This show is educational and it's informative. Crypto's the future, really, it ain't no debate.